to Eagle's Wings. Today we are going to read Acts 2 about speaking in the cloven tongue. We all must make up our minds if we are going to believe in God or traditions of men. This chapter explains Pentecost Day and what exactly happened. First let's look at a few words. What does Pentecost mean? Pent is five and cost is 50, which means the 50th day after Passover. What does cloven mean? In Greek, it means to distribute out in many directions. What does tongue mean? It means different languages. Every nation has its own language or native language. So cloven tongue means to distribute many languages of every nation. They do not need an interpreter because they understand their own language. Let's get our Bibles out and turn to Acts chapter 2 verse 1. But first, let's ask God for a word of wisdom through Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 reads, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. This is the tenth day after Jesus Christ descended, verse 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. The sound came from heaven, rushing mighty wind. This is the Holy Spirit. Remember, Jesus told his apostles not to leave Jerusalem until they received the Holy Spirit in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, verse 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongue, like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. Cloven tongue is different languages. What was like as a fire? This is the Holy Spirit. God is a consuming fire. You can read of this in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. Verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues and the Spirit gave them utterance. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in different tongues, languages. It was not them who spoke, but the Holy Spirit, who spoke through them in the cloven tongue. And they did not need an interpreter because they all understood in their own language and it went out in every language of the world. The importance is that God gave them the cloven tongue, not man. The Holy Spirit of God did. Verse 5. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devoted men, out of every nation under heaven. There was someone from every language. Verse 6. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So every man heard the cloven tongue in their own language. 
They did not need an interpreter because they totally understood. Verse 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galilean? They were Galileans and spoke their native language, and they heard them speak in their own language. That's why they were confused. It was not the Galileans speaking, it was the Holy Spirit, God, and the wind that came down from heaven. Verse 8. And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? They all understood what was being said, and only God is able to do this. Man cannot. This cloven tongue is the same as in Mark chapter 13, verses 9 through 16. When the elect are delivered up to the Antichrist, and God will speak through them, and many will come out of the confusion. Verse 9. Parthians. Where is India? And Medes, which is Persian. And Alamites, which means in between. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia, which is Turkey, and in Judah, and Cap Cappadocia, which is Greek, Pontus, and Asia. Virgii, which is Asia, and Pamphylonia, which is in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, which is Africa, about Syri, which is Syria, and strangers of Rome, and Jews, and post elites these are people from everywhere every land 11 Cretes, which are greek mediterranean and arabians southwest southwest asia we do hear them speak in our own language the wonderful works of god They were all there, and they heard the message in their own language. Verse 12. And they were all amazed, and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? How could this be? How could we all understand what they were saying? Verse 13, others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. It was 9 a.m. on Pentecost Day, a holy day, and no one drank until evening on a holy day. Verse 14, but Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said, unto them, ye men of Judah, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. Peter is telling them to listen to him. Verse 15, for these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day third hour of the day is 9 a.m. 
verse 16. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Let's turn to Joel chapter 2, verse 29. Reads, And also upon the servants, and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. In those days is the same as in the last days. You know that Joel was written 700 to 800 years before Jesus Christ was born of woman? Hmm. Verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Verse 18. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. God will speak through his elect in the last days. In Mark chapter 13, verses 9 through 16, tells us this. To save time, I am just going to paraphrase. In the last days, God will pour out His Spirit to His elect, and they will be delivered up to death, who is Satan. And they will take no thought beforehand what they say or premeditate because God will speak through them with the cloven tongue so that every nation will hear them in their own language. Go ahead and read Mark chapter 13 verses 9 through 16 to show yourself approved. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, peace of mind, things that make sense. The cloven tongue is not a religion, but God himself that speaks. And if no man can understand the cloven tongue, then it's not from the Holy Spirit God. Because God will only speak the cloven tongue to his elect in the last days, when his elects are delivered up to Antichrist, death, who is Satan. I pray this cloven tongue study gives you clarity and what it means to speak in the cloven tongue. Amen. Until next time, be well, be kind, and spread a seed of God's truth. All we can do is spread a seed. God is the only one who can make it grow. Bye for now.